Hey guys, what's up, what's up? Como es, I got fat. It's your girl, Jasmine. Thank you so much for coming through today. Today's video is all about skincare. I've been getting requests to share with you my thoughts on some of the skincare products I bought during the Sephora VIB sale. So I figure I'd tell you about the good, the bad, and the very ugly because it truly did get ugly for me at some point, like to the point of tears, but you know, um, stay tuned for that story. <laughs> If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you are because I make videos on pretty much anything and anything that I like, whether it be makeup or fashion or travel or lifestyle. So if you're into all of that, just like I am, hit that subscribe button down below, like this video if you wanna see more skincare talks like this. And without further ado, let's get it. Let's talk about this Tatcha Silk canvas primer i got it because all the beauty gurus on the youtube was talking about it how it helped to smooth out pores how it helped to like mattify or whatever um i don't really find it to be mattifying it does smooth out the pores i'm actually wearing it today my face is looking smooth like a baby's bottom right now would i buy this again um for 50 dollars probably not a little bit does go a long way and i haven't even hit the very center which is kind of good you know but at this point in my life i don't really have 50 dollars to like spend on this but Tatcha, if you want to send me some stuff um you know you could send me a private dm i'll let you know my address for shipping you know all that good stuff so yeah this smells really good i mean for those of you who are like sensitive to smells this may not be for you but it applies very clear i mean i definitely would say that it does filter away imperfections imperfections like pores it don't really help with the creasing because sometimes i do get the creasing here it don't really help with that yeah this was like 50 54 quite an expensive purchase for me the next product i want to talk about is the herbivore blue tansy resurfacing clarity mask i absolutely love this stuff now i've never heard about blue tansy before buying this but it's like ever since i bought this i've been seeing blue tansy everywhere and i'm really not sure what blue tansy is supposed to do specifically but i'm guessing it's supposed to be really good for skin because i'm seeing it in a lot of skincare products these days this is a mask it's a clear ish mask it's it, it looks green from here and i think it's because of the blue tansy it really smells weird right it smells like it's gonna work like it smells like plants and freshness and strength and <sighs> after a while you get used to the smell i'm almost done as you can see like i'm almost done i use this maybe like two to three times a week i mean i noticed that my skin has remained for the most part at bay like I do get pimples here and there, but it's not like clusters of pimples here, clusters of pimples here. And I think it has a lot to do with this mask. I would repurchase this. I love the way that it feels when I apply it onto my skin. And I don't look like a crazy mad woman when it dries. Like when it dries, it dries like kind of glossy clear. Um, instead of like me putting on a clay mask when I look like ghostly and stuff, this is like a cute little mask. Like it has you looking cute, you know? I've always been interested to try Herbivore products out. I know there's like a makeup mist on Sephora.com that I've been dying to try, but it's always sold out. I definitely want to get it during the next VIB sale, the next time it comes around. And uh, next time the vip sale does come around too i'm also going to repurchase this mask it's really good i really like it and like i definitely think you should give it a try because i have nothing but good things to say about it so the next product i want to talk about i don't have with me because i threw it away like i wanted it as far away from me as possible and i'm talking about the ordinary vitamin c suspension like cream or whatever the strength of that product 
was it was it was too much it was too much for my skin and I I don't claim to have sensitive skin at all but this right here this product was so strong that I end up breaking out into a rash on my face like right here I ended up breaking out into a really bad like I don't know what it was like a sun rash or something but I could feel like the texture of my skin it just wasn't the same it was just like tiny little bumps near my jawline near my like lower half of my face and i felt so so insecure like there was one time alan's family came over to his house to his mom's house and they wanted me to come inside i I, I stayed in the car and I cried because I did not want them to see my face like that. Like I looked so, so bad. And like Alan, he was a doll, of course. He went and got me some aloe vera because aloe vera is supposed to be really, really good for like sun rashes. When you apply vitamin C to your skin, you have to, have to, have to apply like sunscreen. And just like FYI, you should be applying sunscreen all the time. I did not do that okay um that was the problem as well and you know i i thought that i was immune i thought i had superpowers you know i thought that because of this melanin nothing was gonna touch me nothing was gonna phase me wrong wrong i was quite humbled at the fact that this rash broke me out and so now i definitely 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 apply sunscreen every single time i go out now like no no joke protect yourself protect your skin because no one is immune to all of these environmental harms that are like out there You're like there's a hole in the ozone layer ladies there's a hole in there like there's a hole in the sky wear your sunscreen don't be like me not even the fact that it broke me out into a rash but i didn't really like the feeling of it it was kind of gritty i didn't really like the texture of it it kind of stung my skin a little bit too i felt like it was a bit too strong to be honest with you so i think i wore it about three times and after the third time i got the skin rash and i was like nope I'm throwing it away so I threw it away um, I could have returned it I wasn't thinking and I don't regret throwing it away no I will not be trying it again um, I'm good sis last but not least the Sunday Riley good jeans okay so this is the all-in-one lactic acid treatment yo 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 okay I didn't know what the meaning of life was before I bought this product um I was deeply offended at the price that I had to pay for this product, but the way this made my skin feel on a day-to-day -day basis was unreal. And I'm talking about a good unreal, like I, my skin felt soft and supple and smooth and it smells good too. I apply like one pump under my makeup one pump at night like i'm done like this product is done like i've oh oh actually girl i got some okay you know what it's about to be on because <laughs> i didn't even like look inside to see if there was like more at the bottom luckily there is um we're gonna treat ourselves tonight you can apply this on as a mask if you don't want to leave it on all day but i love just having it on my skin all day it feels so so good i really don't know about the instantly plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles in three minutes i don't really know about that but i really do love the way it makes my skin feel and i do want to try the uh sunday riley sleeping night oil um i think that has blue tansy as well so next vib sale i will definitely be repurchasing i want to get the bigger size next time because this didn't last me as long as i would have liked it to so i'm gonna get the bigger size of this and i'm also going to get the sleeping night oil from sunday riley as well i definitely recommend this i definitely recommend this i like, I don't know what else to, to say about it other than it's bomb.
It is thebomb.com. So that is all for this skincare review video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know what you want to see from me. Like what do you want me to review and all that jazz. Leave them below in the comments section. As always, please subscribe. Please like this video. Turn on the notifications as well because YouTube is playing games with my life. I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Out. <laughs>